raspberries, pear trees. This is all in our backyard. Rhubarb. And this is a squash plant. And it climbs up the tree. It's kind of wilted right now. It's in the sun. The leaves will pick up when it cools. This is our strawberry patch. That is mustard seed and lettuce growing there. These are some of our lettuces and cabbages. These are green cabbage. Those are our head lettuces. There's some pepper plants. Zucchini plants. Let's see if we can see a zucchini. There's a zucchini right there. Don't know if you can see it. Our corn, which is getting very ripe. The Silk on it is starting to turn brown, so hopefully we'll have corn before long. More squash. There's a couple of them hanging there on the fence. And in here we have kale, we have curly kale, Italian kale, there's beets, and the tall blooming stuff is lettuce, and we have red cabbage over there, and we have Swiss chard, more squash on the other fence, and those are a sweet meat. These are our tomato plants and our pepper plants and as we walk back in here you can see more tomato plants this is one of our cabbage plants from last year that came back and it's got one two three four cabbage heads on it which is kind of cool because it was from last year my green basil and that's actually cilantro that has gone to seed that we will salvage and have fresh cilantro again in the spring sweet banana peppers an eggplant and there's one of our eggplants right there there's about three or four of them on there we have thyme and sage and there's a purple basil more pepper plants and over here is where we had peas and lettuce and spinach and there's kale and carrots and that's growing in our potato patch we have red and purple potatoes growing in there there's more squash over there and as you can see, there's squash growing everywhere. This is our watermelon and honeydew. There's one of our watermelons. There's another one. Those are two different types of watermelons. And over here is the honeydew. No melons yet. Just to show you how many peppers are on a pepper plant. There's probably about 10 of them on that one plant. And then over here we have green beans, more kale and carrots, and then there's lettuce and broccoli. Let's get around there on the other side and we'll show you some broccoli plants. Broccoli and there's a small piece of the broccoli, but these are all broccoli plants. We use both the leaves and the bloom on top. 
And over here is our blackberries. And they are absolutely loaded this year. And we have plums. So that kind of gives you an overview of our garden. Here we have chocolate mint, which is really good to put in your fruit smoothies. And this is oregano that I planted a few years ago, and it just spread. And now this whole entire section is nothing but oregano. It's pretty cool. Makes a great ground cover. Then we have apricot trees. And over here we have a couple apple trees. And kind of give you an outlet. It's the front yard. This is about the only section where we really have grass. Turned most of the backyard into nothing but garden. Figured I'm I can't eat grass, so let's garden. And that's some of the flower beds that we put in just for ground cover. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video.